I missed all the doggies. Huh? They miss me. Hey, Patrick again. Uh, we're here today at Town Dog and I'm pretty excited to come back and visit this one today. It's now, I think around about two years since we completed this. So the whole design with this was, was a fairly open scheme, gentle beach from this uh, sand arena down into the water. So we've got shallow areas for smaller dogs and then our deep areas and obviously the jumping platform over there. Um, quite a simple design really when you think about it. It is just three walls and then a gentle beach beach going in. Now there is a construction style to that. It's not just a slope all the way down. It's actually done in slight terraces so you can hold that sand there as best we can. This is one of my favorite jobs and it's not just because of the aesthetics of it. I love how it looks and I actually, uh, the design of it I really like and this is probably what I'd build for myself again if I was going to build another one for myself is this gentle beach entry. Like the amount of joy that it brings. Some of these dogs I suppose maybe don't have, they have small backyards or whatever and they come here they actually experience water. These little edges here, this is a riparian edge almost you know, these little mandras just placed in amongst the sand and the stone. If they weren't there actually I'd be, I'd feel like there was something missing with the design if this wasn't here. I really love, I really love these. A little bit of grass just adds to the greenery of it. There's not a lot of plantings in the actual pond because of the usage it gets, so you haven't really bothered with that at all, and these just add that little bit more life around those stone there. Massive amounts of fish. If you can come in close, you can see there's, there's heaps of schools of fish, and they're getting quite big, and the girls say actually when they're in there, they're actually scooting around their, scooting around their feet, which is pretty cool. So they, they do get really comfortable with people being in the pond, and the dogs don't affect them in any way. So a great jumping platform. This is into fairly deep water. It's about 1.8, 1.75, 1.8 in there. So quite deep and we have our aerator as well and again that aerator isn't really for aerating because we have so much uh, wind movement and the waterfall and the jets creating that ripple which which gives us our gas exchange but really just to move that water from that deep area and just mix it so here we have the skimmer the skimming system so this is an intake bay um, so the water's getting pulled into a wider area through a shallower sort of almost like a skimming action happening there so we have with both pumps running here, we have about 100,000 uh, 100, litres. We have a pump down in our skimmer. We have our overflow in here as well. As well. And you can see in here the amount of material that this skimmer is um, pulling out. We have done them before and I still do them with just an intake bay. But if you do it that way, this floating material, you, you have to collect it out of that area. This takes that necessity out of the um, equation. It means you can just pull the basket, close that off. Let the water drop a little bit down there as the pump pulls the water down into the bottom of the skimmer and up through the, take the basket out, give that a clean out. We've got a net over this one, so we'll give that a clean too. That's just for the finer material. I'll leave that out and they can put it back in again later. But then you just pop the skimmer back in again, or the skimmer basket, and bring the water back in again. Skimmers are great, and they're not a pool skimmer. They're actually specifically designed uh, for ponds and water features. These are the best skimmers on the, in the market, I would say, for what we do. And then we have our vault. This is our, our, um, our pump vault, which goes right down to the bottom underneath all of this. So water's being pulled into here. It's being pulled down through a grate. Well, there's actually big boxes in there where the water gets pulled through. Some's going to the skimmer, obviously. The rest is going into this intake bay uh, and into this uh, wet well or pump vault, we call them. And that's our main pump in there to run the, uh, the wetland. You can see how clean this water is in here. This little bit of shade is doing a few things. It's stopping the, um, any surface algae possibly growing in there. It's also giving those plants a bit more go, especially in the Australian uh, summers where it gets quite intense. Such a simple actually planting in here. We've got alocasias and lamandras and that's pretty much it. There's little tadpoles. Uh, you'll also see fish because the fish actually do come through the intake bay down through the pumps in fry or egg form into the bottom of the wetland and they make their way up through the pebble and then these areas become nurseries for um, smaller fish which then return back to the, uh, to the main pond at a later date if they happen to go over the falls. And this is a great example of a really nicely placed destination rock and this again would have been chosen as it came out of the pile. It was, an, it was never a hand picked or a, um, a personally picked item but it would have been noticed in the pile of stone. This is what the art is actually with the contractors who have got experience in this that they know how to put these together. They can see a rock in a pile that arrives and know exactly where it should go. And you can see a little bit of algae on the rocks here. That is totally normal. 
you'd find that out in a stream out in nature. And that's filtering, that's adding um, habitat for bacteria, providing food as well for the small fish that are in there. You can see them milling around in there as I wiped a little bit off, you can see the fish starting to mill around under the waterfalls. Wow, there's thousands. <laughs> And there's the jade perch, he's about that big, there's one of those there, he's cruising around as well. And they're all feeding off that algae that I've just washed in off the rocks into there. If you're lucky enough to have one of these at night time, and, it's, uh, and this does have lighting in it as well, but if you come snorkeling here at night time, you'll see, especially rainbows and um, agassiz perchlets, you'll see them all up amongst these waterfalls. Uh, well, this is an aquascape uh, equipment-based system, so we have the skimmer, uh, well, the processes actually is, so the wetland filter, uh, again, specifically um, size to the size of the pond and the amount of filtration that we want to uh, obtain in this or um, guarantee. So I think my favorite part of this one is the beach, being able to do such a large, wide, gentle entry. I think it's got so many applications, this kind of design. It's got the deep areas, plus that beautiful, shallow, gentle entry into it. And I love the waterfalls on this one, especially the big break rock in the middle there, the big um, splitter rock in the middle of the waterfalls. I follow uh, Hound Dog Daycare. Just love to see on a daily basis, just the amount of joy that not only the owners, because they always look happy, the, the animals as well, as they interact with this. That's just something that uh, makes my day a lot of days actually. So.